Hue, which comes from the German word Quella, which means source, is part of a theory about how we got the Gospels, specifically Matthew and Luke, in the form that we have them. Uh, but ultimately, to step back a bit, it strikes at the heart of a question I often hear from people, which is, how can I trust that what is in the Bible is reliable? And that opens up a whole series of questions I won't address today, except to say that we have to answer for ourselves, to what extent do we think that God influenced the Bible? Um, do we believe that God gave us these words above all else to wrestle with so that we would find God through them? Now again, that opens up a whole series of other questions but it's something that you have to address if you're asking, can I trust this Bible to help me to know God? But then there's the other side of it, which is, okay, but it was ultimately written, collected, edited, preserved by humans. What did that look like? That's where Q comes in. Um, Q, like I said, is part of a theory about how we got gospels like Matthew and Luke. All the Bible essentially starts with what's called oral tradition simply put, people telling stories to each other. They told stories within communities and community to community um, until eventually there, there was an effort to collect them and write them down. F.F. Uh, F. Bruce has a book where he explains how reliable the Bible is from an historical standpoint in the sense of those stories being recorded. If you want to check it out, it's called Are the New Testament Documents Reliable? Um, but in terms of Q, so it's said that Matthew and Luke uh, relied heavily on Mark's gospel, which was the first gospel we think that was written. They also relied on some oral tradition that was unique to each of them, creatively called M for Matthew, L for Luke. And then there was Q, this hypothetical document which had Jesus's, some of Jesus' sayings that Matthew and Luke seem to share in common as uh, a source for uh, their Gospels. But ultimately, it all comes back to the question of what I said at the beginning. Can we believe, do we believe, that God would give us some words above all else so that we would wrestle with those words, poems, stories, songs, accounts, so that we would find God through those words, and that God would use imperfect human beings to mediate those accounts, as God seems to be doing for everything, to be working with imperfect humans in relationship to bring about the redemption of the world.